Um, so where did we get to? We got um, our base and our collector. So our base is connected where it should be down to this here on the 3.3k resistor and we have the 100 puff going in between the front side of this resistor and the base and then this side of the resistor is going to be going off for our, <clears throat> our negative um, our negative side let me just look at that yep now we need this the other end of this is going to be connected to the output right so let's have a look what we've got going on here then so this is our base collector emitter that's our emitters going out there so we need the collector of the other transistor, one of these, which we want to be in here like this, or as pretty darn close as what we can to it. This is basically going to go like this, um, but the other way around. We need to be able to have access to it so we can, so then we can actually put the the transistors in like this because you remember we've got to get this onto a heatsink but we're going to build up this other side first and carry on down the way with that okay right let me just double check one thing yep we're good all right so let's just have a look see where we are so we have this connected here we're about to solder this and the top end, this end, wants to go onto this connection coming through here. This is from the 22K all the way through. It's got some connectors onto it. There's the 100 microfarads. It's all the way through to this end of this resistor. But on this side of the resistor, this side, we also need to get the collector of our main output transistors. Um, and that's going to be done the same on the other side, see? All right, so we need to be thinking about connecting this and how we're going to get this connected to that. So if I just get through here and connect this in the first place, we've still got all this area that we can take off that next transistor. I think we may be taking some sort of connection up like this, but we'll see first. Let's see first, let's just put that there and let's get this one connected while we're thinking about it. Mm, that's definitely going that way, isn't it? Yep. Okay. So. This is our 22K here. This is the join from the um, capacitor. And this is as it's traveling up through here, which will eventually, this is gonna connect onto that 22, all the way to the end there. Um, now, we also wanna get another one in here, but let's, let's get this side sorted out. Let's yeah, see what it looks like so far. There you go. Not as neat as it could have been. I made a mistake in there, didn't I? There's the, there's the underside so far. Okay. Right. Well, let's work on this other side then now. Just so we can keep everything going up nice and neatly. Right. This is our 546. And we have this here. This is for biasing and currenting. And now we need this for the driver side. Uh, out of the, um, out of the collector of, 
out of the collector of this we want a connection to the base of this base collector emitter I don't to remember which one this is so this is our base so let's just see if we just pop that in around about the same sort of level as we can do it so the other one is just for neatness that's about right um so we want to be able to go our base down there we're just going to make sure we don't run into anything else that's our uh collector that's going on to that one 1k there yes so our base is going to go down there and then our emitter is going to come to the other resistor so let's just put that in just to place it in there now should we do it that way around or this way around mm, decisions decisions <laughs> let's just do it this way around why not um, it's probably going to be about the same sort of the same sort of distancing so just to keep things looking neat um, you know, one, one, two, three, is that right? Oh, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, because again, this uh, will be meeting this down here, and they're going to be joining there, so we can just put that there for now. Um, and again, we want to bring the base back then. Because that, yes, because the emitter, base collector, and then the emitter, oh, you darn it. Um, boom, 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 boom. Um, yeah, so our uh, base collector emitter, so let's just make sure we get this the right way around. Our emitter wants to be going across either the front or the back because we've got to get the emitter unless I put that in that way around and what will happen if I do it like that and then we'll have to have base the collector can go backwards that way and the emitter can go this way and the base can go backwards now is that a big problem I don't suppose it is if that were to go in like that I don't suppose that's such a big issue is it because um, then at least then I've only got to move out the base and then the collector can still go that way um, or if it was that way around just to make it look nice and symmetrical the base it has to come back and then the collector emitter need to be crisped over each other I mean that can be done but pff, let's do it this way Let's do it this way, so let's just bend one of these for the base. Just bend it like that for the base, just uh, Keeping in mind that the emitter is going to go this way, it's going to connect to here. The base got to emitter and the collector is going to go behind it onto the 2.2. .2. So I'm just going to bend this one back a little tiny bit bend it there and then bend it here we don't want it to go too far back so we don't want to make it look too how's your father all over the place all right so let's see if we can do this remembering base collector emitter let's not get this all around this time if i put this in um secondary in there on the third run aren't they so let's do that like that then um, and I can probably go a little bit closer to that because the base is going to be connected down here the emitter is going to be there so let's get that just nicely got a bit neat got to be neat it's a bit hard for me to see. Oh, that's better. 
keep forgetting that's what I use this thing for. Right, so this really is running down the, the third. So I want this doing the same thing. So if I can have that there, I mean, it doesn't have to be as, you know, faffing about symmetrical as well. I'm trying to do it. The collector's going off to that, and it's also going to there, so that's alright. Um, it doesn't have to be as faffy about. This is just me, this is, you know, just the way I am. I want it to look near enough. You know, equal. Does it really matter? No. So the emitter. Um, so we've got our base. Base is coming down here to connect to this. So that wants to be, and we're gonna connect it up to this bit here on the base. And now the collector side is gonna be going off to this so we can bend that down to there and the emitter side is going the emitter side is going um if i did get that right the wrong way around um sorry i didn't did i mm, let's do it again base collector so the collector is going off towards this side. Because that's now, that collector is going to go on to a 220 ohms to this negative rail. A uh, positive rail, sorry. Um, and the collector side, which is this, Um, oh no, I have done this the wrong way around, don't I? The collector side, base collector is going there, and the emitter is going onto here. Oh, gotta get these things right, but it's alright. <clears throat> so the base collector and the emitter, I'm just gonna. Bend this round there. Oh, like it there, you bug out. There you go. And then we're just gonna double check. Double check, double check. So base collector. Let's go to the 20, 220 ohms. And the emitter, base collector emitter, because they're also running close. He's going to the bottom part of the resistor. All right, let's get those tacked in. Do you know, I prefer to spend five hours building this thing than spend twice as long taking apart a mistake. Because that's what ends up happening. If you make a mistake, it takes a lot longer to sort that out than it does if you just check, double check, triple check. A lot longer. Right, we need to connect between these two here now. Bit of a jump thing, so I'm gonna get a good old, good old bit of solder there. And not quite done it. Good old bit of solder, there we go. Now we want a 220 ohms, going off to the positive side here. Uh, just make sure we get that in the right place, and let's get that 220. Um, it's supposed to be the 220, isn't it? Uh, uh, two reds, two blacks, and a brown. So we can go directly from there and underneath. So we can go directly from there, look. From this one here, and then underneath we'll go to here. There. Just 
this off. When I heard the banging from downstairs, I went down and just asked my neighbour if there was lots of banging. She said, no, no, no. Just the electrician was there. Of course, it was banging. There he's gone now. I've managed to get something to eat. All right, so we're up to the 220s and we're up to the bases of these. Um, so, so we're at the bases uh, of this here. We're at the base of this here. Now this is the power transistor because here's the 220. Now between the, oh dear, could have probably left a bit more space there, but never mind. That's where the power transistor is going to come off. Now this is where it might look a bit messy. Um, so let's just check which one we got there. May as well just stay on this side for now. So it's more complicated. If I'd have looked, I should have probably moved this over one little thing. But it's, to be honest with you, it's going to make no difference. It's going to make no difference. It's going to make a nice connection actually. So this is the uh, 34. And this is the completely different one. We don't want that. Um, I don't want that. Where's the new ones? They are not the new ones. Not the new ones in the Oops. Mm, they are not the new ones. So, uh, oh, what am I second one? What am I looking at? Uh, yes. This is for the other channel. I am looking at the correct ones. I'm just not got my eyeballs in probably. So we want the 4302. 4302. So this is the correct one. Now let's just check what the base and meta collector is. Just in case. Just in case. For the size of these transistors. Now these are not going to fit in. Um, I'm going to have to drill drill through these, make these a bit bigger with something. I've got a pokey thing and I might just bring the drill in. Right, that's the PMP, is that correct? Yes it is. And we got again, base collector emitter this time. So number one, it's the base, and then we've got the collector and the emitter. Oh, you're checking. Hang tight. That. You go upstairs, mister. Oh. Hiya. Hello, I was just saying, are you able to put the bin out and is it the blue bin tomorrow as well? Um, yes, for the first part. And I don't know, I'll have to look. As in? I'll have to look on the piece of paper and see. But I'm in the middle of making a video at the moment. So, but I'll do it later if it's the, the, those bins tomorrow. If it's what's already there. Well, the blue bin's already there, so they'll pick that. I'll just turn it, turn it to see it there. Oh, can no, get the well, that's okay. I was just saying, uh, I don't remember if it's like as in the blue tomorrow, but obviously it's here anyway. But I was just asking the question, so. All right, okay. Uh, right, thanks. Well, the other one, if it is, yeah, I'll bring it round. No, that's all right, okay. Okay. I got no idea. Oh, dear sakes, honestly, these people don't need to know. Right, let me just get back on topic. What were we doing now? Right, so what were we? We base collector emitter on this one, are we? Base collector emitter, yes, base collector emitter. All right. Um, Maybe I should write that down if I'm not. Base collector emitter. So this wants to be like this. It's got to be pretty much close to the end because um, because the way all this stuff works. Now, let's have a little look. The base is going to be coming out down this way. Um, 
the collector is going to be going this way because that the, the collector wants to add wants to join onto the emitter of this so this way we're going to make sure we get everything right all right and then they oh blimey and then they are going to join to the underside of here so where that is here this uh, this bottom part here I've got to get this to connect to it I've got to get the emitter part of this base collector emitter all right to connect there because this was base collector no it wasn't this was uh, oh damn you yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Doesn't matter. Ah, oh, there we go. I'm looking at the wrong one. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. Uh, so, let's have a look. So, this is where we are now. Um, but this is going to be going onto the bottom side of here still. The same way as it is going to be on here. So, this has got to come down. This base collector emitter, right? So the emitter then wants to go this side, but we can't turn this around this time because the heat sink is going to be coming across the back here. Um, and the closest we can have that in. Um, because this is all right, I mean, I know this looks like it might be a problem, but it's not going to be a problem because even though this is going to be here, we can have this sort of here, but just wired around. As long as it's on the right side of it, as long as it's on this side of the rail, it doesn't make any difference. All right, so we can have it here, but on this, you know, on this side of the rail. Um, Uh, so base collector emitter, right? And here's our emitter here. So yeah, that does want to be coming off here and then coming down here. Um, the collector side wants to be coming to this side of this the resistor, and the base wants to be coming down to the emitter on here. Uh, to the to the um, sorry to the collector on this side. So. Let's have a look. So there's the collector part there. So the base wants to come down on there, so we need to make a track down here, down here. Uh, they'll be heavier, obviously, because they're going to be you know, wanting some juice, but the nice thing about it is they'll be taking their juice uh, directly from here. Mm, uh, directly from this part of the rail here, the same as on here. Let me get it from here. Uh, negative, so I'll be taking it from there, and that's the positive on you. Um, yeah, because it didn't matter how I did this last time, to be honest with you, and you can be so close together as well. All right, so let's do this then. Uh, base collector emitter. Um, now, what I thought about was I thought about putting them in these. Um, one, so it's easier to swap them out, and two, so it's easy to actually do this like this. So, should I or shouldn't I? That is the question I'm going to ask myself here you now. Is this the way to do it, or is this not the way to do it? Base collector emitter. Yeah, because I can just bend them up and put them on the heat shrink. They pop. Dead easy to take out and swap out if I want to try it on the power test and that with other transistors like this but not these ones they can faff around turn into an experimental board that could be the way to go so let's keep an eye on this then so we've got our base collector and emitter so the first one is our base and that one wants to come down the first one is the base and that wants to come down to the collector at this side between here and here. So this base wants to come down to this junction 
on here. So it's basically here. So that, this one, to here. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Um, no, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just going to solder it like that. I think that's going to be easier in the long run. I might just... Um, Get a couple of resistors so I can just nab all the leads off them. Just going to use some uh, some carbon resistors that I'm probably not going to use for anything anyway. But they've got thicker leads on them. That just makes life a little bit easier at the get go. Um, I've got quite a few of them, so it doesn't really matter. Just donating them. Uh, Base. So just double checking we're going on to the right place. Yeah. So base is going to go to the place. Something like this. I'll just try and keep it sort of neatish. I did used to have a little tiny, a little tiny clamp ideas for doing this, keeping on, but I will get by without it. I will get by without it. Just a little tiny bit longer. Eh? Hey, just a little bit longer. Just make sure we're going in the right place there. Because that's the other side of the resistor. So this is the good side where we want to be. So let's uh, just get that on here. Like that. Goody goody. I'll just take it down here. This is actually going to be heavied up just for the minute. So I get it tacked in place in a few places so it doesn't come apart. Now, do that like that. Okay, so that's just that for now. Now I'm going to just make sure that's pushed in. I'm hoping I'm doing the right thing putting them on here like this, but we'll see. What's the worst thing that can happen? Okay. Okay, right. So there's our base. Now, we've got the collector. And the collector, we'll just remind ourselves, it's always a good idea. Mm, the collector um, is coming down to our emitter side here and then coming down to the bottom half of this. So base collector. Um, and so that wants to come down here because our emitter, if we've done this right, um, is there, yeah. And that's coming down to that already. Yeah, so all we're gonna do then is just bring this down to here and we'll get it right onto that I mean really it wants to be on the emitter side first and, uh, but you know we'll get it here and it'll be fine again we're going to use I'm just getting the sticky off you know when they've been in the in the paper uh, I can't remember what they call it Just nip that off out of the way, I don't need it. And uh, this time we're gonna 
go up a little bit and fancy see our expert. Because we want this to be here. So let's just pin this on here. So I want it to get it as close to the emitter as I possibly can. Right. here so how are we going to do this I want to try and do this so we're not taking up too much space anywhere because uh, we still need some real estate on here for the other components remember we got those capacitors need to go on here time I've finished um, but these they'll all look like this nice and plenty of uh, conductive I mean maybe I should be using copper or something but to be honest with you it's not really made much difference on the, the last build of this and I'm just doing it the same way I was actually gonna get one and just have it upside down so I could keep a check on you know, what I was doing for space and stuff but hey I did the first one without um, having that privilege so I just have to do the second one oh, can't have three hands that'd be quite good to have three hands now but I've not got them All right, there we go let's get this warmed up If I'd have used the um, wire with the from here, then I wouldn't be able to make this thicker. Right, base collector emitter. Now, the emitter is going out to where? The emitter is going out to the rail. To the rail. So that can come up and around. Up and around. That'll do. Clean that stuff off. Up and around. So if we just bend that like that, hopefully it won't be too far off. What we don't want it to do, of course, is. Uh... No, that's fine. Look at that look. Beautiful ish. Might have to nip the ends of that because I'm going to be running the leads down here. Right, just for now, let's just tack that in. Base collector emitter. And the emitter is definitely going to the rail. It definitely is. Beautiful. 
you can ignore this, especially on this emitter. This will have to be super thick. Well, not super thick, but thicker than the others so much. Right, so let's just leave that like that for now. I'll just nip off the end of this because that won't be needed. That won't be needed because we'll be running the wire down there. Okay, and this will get uh, leveled out. Well, I'll nip this off anyway, so that doesn't need to be there. Try and take any anything with spikes away. If there's any of those could be used as an antenna for picking up interference. Are we doing any of that? Now these are not quite in the same one, are they? So we'll have to do something about that. Just keep things pretty. Let's put that. Also, just make sure there's a little tiny gap. Doesn't have to be. Massive gap, but I just want a little tiny gap between those. There you go. There we go. All right. Mm, like that. Beautiful. Right. So uh, now let's have a look for the bypass capacitors and. And let's just thicken these up slightly while we're at it. Oh, I didn't put on the extractor. Oh, I'm so naughty. Should have put on the extractor. But I'll get one. I mean, I've got one there, but I mean, I'll uh, might have to make something a bit smaller. It's a bit big, it's a bit noisy. Just my ears in a bit when it's that big and noisy. There we go. Come on, a bit more on there just for it to jump across. Nice. See, that's the sort of thickness of track we want. A bit thicker up here when it's cooled off a bit. Like that. There. there we go. There we go. No, oh, I'll get off there. Oh, no. Does a bad I just not so good for neatness and we we'll nip off these ends. Let it all cool down a bit first before I start adjusting that anymore. Right, now let's just make sure we can get in our bypass. Remember, it's just got to go to the rail. I mean, it doesn't really matter if it's after this, but it'd be nice if it is. I didn't do it like that, like that before. I just did it on this side. Um, because they're going to be so close, basically attached to it. Um, on the emitter side of this. Uh, it's just 100 microfarad and 100 nanofarad together so we got one of these and one of these so on the 100 mic we want the positive we want the positive to be going to the positive doesn't seem right does it and we're going to do that by going through here let's see if we do it down there actually just avoid these um, now the positive is going to be going to that output there, so that can come up here. And our negative is just going to be going to ground. Right, so this is where I'll be putting a hole somewhere in here, so I'll make sure I leave enough room to drill a hole. Uh, where's my finger? Just put some through where my finger is. That's where my finger is, so that's probably where the hole's going to go. Mm. So yeah, in here is where I'm going to do the hole, so I can have a cable coming out for ground. And all the grounds that you see on the on here, you see one here, one here, 
one here and one here they will all be being brought together so you'll have a cable come from here 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 and they'll all to come together to one as a star ground to make sure that um, you know we're not introducing anything else into it it's just going to be direct grounds coming out yep um and then just bridging this we're gonna be using a hundred nanofarads a little weamer here um, i wonder if i should just make that a bit closer because this is all it looks quite close close fit doesn't it so i wonder if really I should take that out of there because I can bridge across the top of here and our negative is really going to the ground here and our positive is going to our positive so if I if I come out on the other side of here let's say doesn't matter where it is if I come out here then that gets me really right on to and then this is going to be going to ground. Right, so if I just get one up here, well, I thought I could drill. Um, or go one closer. No, I'll keep that away from it. I can drill here. I'd like to drill here then. Fair enough. And then this, of course, has got to bridge that as well. So this is going to go across here. Now I could put it on the bottom, but I'm not going to. What we're going to do is we're just going to make that like that, make that like that. So we've got a good old, good old span. And go through here and go through here as close as we can, like that. Um, of course, there's only one problem with doing it like that. So I don't quite have enough room for that. But if I... Put that there, is that enough room now? I don't want it sat right on top of the trans on top of the transistor, even though they don't get terribly hot. Mm. So yes, so this is negative side is going to ground wherever I drill that through, and this is gonna be here. So if I can just get that just to sit down a bit neater, like that. Perfect. And then all I've got to do is get this to go through as close as I can there and probably about there. Yeah, and then I can try and drill in the middle of those two. Boom. Perfect. Like that, like that. Put that like that for now. Just put that like that for now. Because they're going to be touching there. And I need to drill a hole in here just to make sure I can fit in my uh, my cables these are not going to get warm really so it doesn't matter if they're uh, touching so there's the one side and there's where the transistor is going to be and there's the one side now yeah this is after the transistor and it looks like these should be before the transistor on the coupling on the um, on the, uh, oh, I can't remember what it's called, now my brain's gone flat. Uh, but it'll be fine, it'll be fine. It's how I've done it on the other one, and the other one doesn't have a problem at all. It will be fine. Um, right. And if it makes a difference, it's going to be so marginal, no one's really going to know. Uh, let me just... That'll just annoy me because it's that at that angle. And if I just do that to there like this, I get it at that angle instead. That means I can go there. And I can go there, so I'm gonna just tap these in. I just whip off some of this. Pull that across there like that. Beautiful. I'm just gonna tap them down together before I drill that hole. We'll do all the grounds afterwards. Okay. 
Beautiful. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're looking good. We are looking good. Looking good. I'll see if I just want to push that down. Uh, just push that down. I think it looks neater. All right, so for another one of those close ups so far, what we got. And uh, yes, yeah, so by the time we've got a bit of bend on those transistors, that would be just right for the heat sink to sit on the end of here, just so it holds its weight. Uh, through here is where I'll just put a um, banner already. Uh, a few holes just so I can put standoffs there. So, you know, that always stays off the ground. Off the floor, not the ground. <laughs> right, let's do the next one. Okay, so. Again, let's, you know, sort of trying to think about keeping it a bit symmetrical. Just because, uh, uh, it just looks nice like that. I'll just work everything. To it like that. Is that right? Um, it's not, is it? Nope, you do it A bit of a tight fit. Oh, oh blimey. Sorry if I just whack the mic then. Ah, there we go. Right, let's stick it in the next one forward, shall we? Um, that one. Is that about right, is it? Yeah. Okay. Yep, it's got to be the same thing, otherwise it's going to be wrong going on the heating. Okie dokie, right now we want we've got that driver there. Again, we're going to use this bit of real estate for the same thing on this side. Uh, but we've got a little bit more going on over here actually. We've got an extra 100 nano. So we've got our 100 mic there, we've got 100 nano, and then we've got another 100 nano going to the 10 ohm half watt resistor which is from our output again right so we don't want to get that wrong there all right let's get uh let's have a look at that again so once again we're talking base collector emitter just check honestly it's best to check now i'd prefer to check a hundred times and cut these bits out or i'd prefer to check a hundred times and emphasize how important it is to check. I've made mistakes before and I realize that it takes a lot longer to rectify those mistakes and it does just keep checking in the first place. So, uh, base collector emitter, yep, good, as we, as we thought, we suspected. Um, so now let's just check out, see where our base is going. So our base is coming down to this junction point here. So we're gonna have that come straight down here. All right, so we'll do that one first because that's where it joins. Um, our base joins the 220 there between the collector, the puff and the resistor, yeah? Collector off here, the puff and resistor here and here, so we can put that straight in. Knowing that we're going to get this right, I'm going straight down there. Perfect. Perfect side look. I mean, oops, that's daisy. Why is that a little bit loose? There we go. All right. Oh, 
Okay. So on that. Neatness. For neatness. <laughs> All right. So we've got our base. It's just going to join up there now. I mean, the base doesn't really need that much solder on it, to be honest with you. That's um, just doing a small part of work, but if it's still um, base collector emitter, so it's just uh, not to get eyes off the ball here. base has gone down, a emitter, basically to emit a nice one, our emitter's just got to come out here to the rail, nice and easy, easy peasy, let's just do that, I'll use this thicker wire anyway, just because um, we need it, it's very hard to see these, but much easier like this, so, don't need all of it, just going to that amount. What a clean. It's having this crap on stuff, you know, when the tech when they're off the tape stuff, like the ammo tape stuff. Um, when you're doing your socket board prototyping, so your socket boards can get messed up. But it's sticky sticking inside them. When you're putting these things in and out. Okay. Collector. Now our collector is going to the emitter and is going to the bottom of the um, resistor here. So I think that's going to come around and down. Uh, bang, bang, collector. Yeah. And. Um, Base clutch emitter, and that emitter is going to just join here, which is then also connecting to here. So we can go and join it directly there. You see there what I mean? Is this is our uh, base collector emitter? So we're going to bring this out rather than going across anything. We're going to bring this out around and then down and connect here at the bottom of this because if you look here um, there's the bottom of this resistor the top end is these so this is the bottom of the resistor and this is where our collector needs to come out and connect to the emitter here and so we can just basically join that there uh, base collector let me just double check. Yes, yes, yes. Base collector. All right. So that just saves any messing about. Any more than we can do it anyway. Now, you know, if you think, oh, why don't I just join these up with groups of solder? Oh, um, yeah, that's fair enough. You can say that. I and mean, if you're more patient than me, um, that's a good way to go. But what I found is that a lot of the time when you're doing it without a piece of wire in there um, you end up with the gaps and then you've got to keep trying to bridge the gap keep trying to bridge the gap but if you get that there that's doing it for you anyway so it just takes out some of that uh, some of the pain of it so 
that is where that is straight onto the base of that resistor and I think that's how we're going to go like that yep, looks like it'd be nice clean up and around them perfect as long as you don't get it well soldered there's going to be enough but you know, there won't be a really resistance there apart from what's going to be there anyway into the solder. Well, let's just pull this off this end. Probably that a little bit tighter. That. Um, there's those twist out. Right. Only because of the length of this, we might be able to get this just fitting right. I'll get this in tight enough. Just fit in right if we're in tight enough. Uh -oh. Yep, so we get that to go into there. We'll just tack that down on there. There it is. Which pussy has that? There's one right behind me, but I don't know which one. excited now it's, uh, it's getting there I'm going to have to break this into two videos it's got to be a couple of hours now this soldering I think yeah that's a bit of a mess but that's what it takes you see it takes a bit of patience and you don't want to just set yourself an hour or two you want to set yourself yeah, good, good few hours for for doing it. At least then you don't have to rush it. Or I think there's any real reason to rush it now. To this, the uh, what's going on here? We brought the wrong part. Who's a silly sausage? Who's a silly sausage? Any car plan? Honestly. Honestly, 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 what am I doing? Hey, what am I doing? Why didn't anybody tell me? Going on the wrong one. I can imagine somebody is watching it shouting. You're doing it on the wrong one, you wally. <laughs> Let me just there uh, clean that just to make sure we don't have any problems on that little bit there. It's just uh, no, it should be alright. It's not touching there. I'll do a check on it anyway. Mm, cut it if I have to. Uh, where'd that go now? God, what a ninkum poopy. Mm, there we go. Right. That's better. That looks better. I think it's worth putting the mistakes in as well. I don't think it's worth cutting the mistakes out because, you know, you're better off seeing that. Even with the confidence of building it in the first place, mistakes are still made. It's just good to recognise them when it happens. 
to do something about it. Oh, I just got a shock from the hand. Something to do with uh, to do with electrical one. Oh, apart from what's in my own in my own system there. If I can just bend that down a little bit, I'll leave that just overlapping there, because I don't see why I shouldn't. If I can just get that to bend into that there. There you go. It. Double check, yeah. <laughs> there we go. Get that on there, come on. Onto that tab, yes. Ooh, just get that down nicely. Just there. There we go. Alright. I'm just going to tag it here. Then I'll just do a quick conductivity check, just to make sure that's not, because um, it's the uh, base collector emitter. Is that right, base collector emitter? Yes, yes, yes. The collector's going out to uh, that. Um, um, the collector's going out to that, to the base of that, which is correct. Yeah, because that is the base of the the bottom part of the uh, resistor. Right now we're just going to do our little uh, three capacitor combination thing there. Now let's just get that quick little. I don't know if you can tell the Bryman man when it comes to these things. I like them. So let's just check this one here. Make sure there's no connection here. And there isn't. Goody goody. So you've got a nice space between there and there. And there's a space between there as well. In actual fact, I think that one works better for doing that than the, uh, than the, uh, the um, uh, than this one, the 235. Maybe some of you got experience with it, you can let me know. Okay, let's um, let's get those capacitors in. Let's get this is still gonna be thickened up. Okay, this is all still gonna be thickened up and I've still got to run the cables down here. Um, but that's not such a big thing. Right, there we go. We want these three here, and we also want this. These are the last of our components. There's four components left. Oops, sorry about that four components left and that is the uh, 10 come here the uh, 10 ohm resistor this 100 nanofarads there and uh, 100 nanofarads there and then we've got bridging um, the 100 nanofarads here we've got that 10 100 microfarad so now this is basically our output um, connected to that so because our output's going to come out of here we need to connect one of these to it so let's just let's just look at this for a second and see how we're going to do that but we know that we need to have this here all right and so we also know we need it to connect to the end one of these and then we need that to connect to the end of the other one. Boom. And then around the back of it, we can have that. So we're going to do this on a bit of a thing in here so we can keep this capacitor in here as well. All right. <clears throat> now, so, and we also need a hole for our ground connection. Mm. So let's say if we go from here to here, let me do a little check on that. It can't be anywhere where the heat sink's gonna, it's gonna come into contact with the heat sink. It could do with, because it's half watt, having a little bit of space so you can breathe. Um, so if I just stick that down there for now. Now, yep, that could work because it just means that from there, so now we're here, we're going to get onto this 100 nanofarad, 
Uh, and that can now bridge that table we can see underneath, that wire we can see underneath. So let's just pull those off. And we'll go from, just give us a bit more space, I think. We're going to go from there to there. We want a hundred nanofarads. Because then we're either side of here, these two are connected here. Now we need to connect another hundred nanofarad. Another 100 nanofarad to here, which is basically then going to be anti negative 35 volts. So that, let's put it so we can see it. Uh, that can go from there to there beautifully. And then we need this, which is going to come round to the other side of this 100 nanofarads. It doesn't have to go around the other side of this one or connect here, it needs to go around the other side of here. So let's just see where we got that connection here. And is there space for me just to chuck that in? And there is, it seems. And then we're coming down to there with the positive side towards our 100 nanofarad, negative side towards this negative here. Stripey side towards our negative. So we're going to just pop that in. I suppose it's as good a place as any. Round about there, I think. Around about there. Alright, so. Oh. Okay, got no idea what I've done there. God blimey. Out there. Uh, so, yeah. So, we're going to connect from there. So, as long as those two are connected together there. Uh, which they will be, because we can just bring this down to there, and bring that down. Put that underneath there, I think. Put that down to there, so those two are connected where they want to be. Okay, and then uh, this one and this one is... There's uh, those two, right? What's this? That's the that's that capacitor which is supposed to be connected here. So we've got one capacitor there, we've got that capacitor there, and that capacitor there. So that's sitting between those two capacitors, but it still wants to be connected there. Yes, yes. So it's sitting between the two capacitors. Now this is where we might have a bit of a problem. What's that there? That's that one. So that wants to be there. That one's the other one, right? Yeah, no, that's all good. So all these three are on the same place here. So if I just pull that down, push that down, and pull that down there. And then these two are going to be connected together there. Right, let me just show you what's going to be going on there now. It looks a bit messy and a bit complicated. In actual fact, if I snip everything away and show you. Like that. So I'll just get rid of that and put that over that side because it's going to be neater. I think. And this lot are all going together here. So I'll just take that off there. And take that off there. And take that off there. Oh, where are those tweezers? Mm. Get rid of that. Right, and if I push this down, push that down like that, trying to keep it looking neat if I can. And then we just got these two to connect here. So let me, uh, that's going to stay like that. That can go like that, that can go like that. Let me just nip those off and I'll show you what I've done. it afterwards if I made that too short. Okay, so um, so what we've got then is we've got this capacitor is joined 
is joined in the middle of these two. Right. Okie dokie. Right, so this capacitor um, is joined in the middle of these two, and that's here. So we basically got them two connected there, the two smaller ones, the 200 nanos, and then our uh, electrolytic connected to them there. So that's joined in the middle. That's where we want that. And on the other side, we've got this side of the um, 100 nano connected to this uh, half watt. Let me pull that out a little bit, actually. Just want to give it a bit of space. I don't want it to be too connected to these because these get warm and there's half watt and we don't want it to uh, get too warm there. And then that is connected to the other side there of this capacitor. So that is all correct like that. So what we're going to do now is just tack those down. And of course that capacitor comes off of this side, negative side to the negative rail uh, with this lead here. And I hope you can see that. I know it probably looks a bit confusing, but well, it's not too bad really. Let's get that back in here. So these things really do help, especially if, uh, especially if they're done up a bit, a bit, a bit tighter. Some more pressure in there, that won't come out again. Okay. Mm. Right. Just in case you find along there. So yeah, so where it's connected there, um, we've got the one end connected in between the two. Basically just moving this trace down here, this track down here. And then those two connected together and the one end coming out to that 10 ohm. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, but look at this look. I mean, this is just about done. Just about done. Oh my god, do we do the test today or the test tomorrow? The test later on, get this video edited and put up. It's a couple of hours long, so I might just uh, put it into another two pieces. I did say it'd take two or three pieces, didn't I? It's, it's not a quick job, really. This. Not really, not when you want to check and double check and and hopefully that will pay off, you know, when we come to connecting it up and there's a there's a whole routine, there's a whole protocol to to connecting up as well, to powering up for the first time, so it's not as though we just bang it on. Oh la la no. No, we've got a few things to uh set up. that I've got these two like this let me just double check again that's how I'm going to be giving that a bit of space I've got to have a bit of space there you see for that I'll just push these down pretty flat just for the neatness getting quite excited now it's excited at the start but then all the trouble in the plumbing computer. Oh, I've still got to sort of sort that out as well. Okay. And then like I say, I want this up a little bit here. Because I just want it to stay away from these. I do expect these two other resistors to get warm. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bend that and leave this bit of lead on here like that just for now. Oh. See there's a method in that madness later on in the game. And then just solder these. Alright. We're electrically connected to wise we're near enough there. We've just got to run our power leads down put our grounds in, thicken up some of these when they need to go, but what I'll do is I'll do that off camera, all right, and get that ready. Um, I think on the, on the power up, we might put the grounds in then, because I feel like I could do with another little rest. 
It's only just to make sure I keep the concentration. I don't, um, you know, I don't. Uh, So I'm just doing it for neatness, that's all. So there we go. I mean that's that is basically what we got here now. Uh it takes a bit of time to get there, but it's well worth it. Uh look around the other side. Um uh, like I said, Danny's each side here, we're going to run the positive and negative down here. Um, we'll be taking the ground, you know, the zero point. Um, from where I said I'll drill through, we'll just use a tool to, but I'll probably just drill it because it's going to be easier. I've got some little tiny drill bits. And I got a, uh, <laughs> I did it last time, I don't know if I showed you, but with a hand drill, you know, the old type hand drills. And I didn't even have one of these, uh, one of these holders, and so I'm trying to do it with a wind up drill. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was fun. But this is a bit different now, I've got a zzzp, zzzp, and we can do it like that. So that's it, guys. That's as far as we get to this bit on here. Like I said, I'll put the cables on, I'll show you once they're in anyway, but I'll do that on the power up video because there's going to be a power up video, and that's when we can go from the power up. Uh, just going through power, powering it up. And um, it is not straightforward. You can't just chuck a power onto this now and expect it to work correctly. Uh, we gotta make sure this uh, this uh, this um, is set up correctly for our biasing, uh, for our quiescent current. So if that comes on full blast, we're in trouble. If it comes on too high, we're in trouble. And we'll just pop out the transistor so we make sure we get that set up properly. Um, yeah. It'd be easy enough to put transistors in and screw them down and put the heat shrink on and just clamp it for now. Um, this time around, I may even drill it and, and drill them in rather than uh, just clamping them with big, uh, big old clamps. But yep. So right, look, this is. Um, I'm going to think this is going to be part three. I'm not sure. Let's see how it goes. I'm putting it up. See what I can cut out. But I don't want to leave anything out really, apart from where I've disappeared off downstairs, talk to the neighbours, or oh, come to the toilet and such. I'll cut those bits out, of course, um, but I don't want it to be too long. Mm. But yeah, so I'm hoping you get a look at this, you know, because it was asked for a bit close up jobby. It's not that easy to do it with the um, the camera itself, just because um, the camera itself is it's got several different lenses on the back and it you know, just shifts it off uh, where we're at here. If I zoom in again, it will be over here, but it'll be zooming in on, not on here. And that's a pain when you're working down here like this. But still, it's a good little camera. So there you go. So that's what it looks like. And that's what it looks like. Pretty much set up. Pretty much ready to go, apart from what we've spoken about already. Right. If you got this far, fair play to you. Thank you so much for sticking with it. And, um, well, I'll see you in the power-up video.